Thank you uh, very much, Mark. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, coming along uh, today. Let me start by acknowledging the Ngunnawal people, who are the traditional owners of the land we gather on today. And I want to pay my respects to their elders, past and present. I acknowledge their custodianship and enduring relationship with our country. I note that Labor has uh, now joined with the Greens in support of a national conversation on treaties with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I welcome that and I hope that Malcolm Turnbull can, in turn, uh, show the leadership uh, so desperately lacking to join us on that journey. I also want to acknowledge uh, my incredibly talented team of MPs, many of whom are here today. Thank you so much for coming along. Uh, and uh, others uh, who are out and about on the campaign trail in respective parts of the country. Also to All Saints, thanks so much for coming along and uh, participating in our uh, democracy. Let me start with some reflections on my first campaign uh, as the leader of the Australian Greens. Now, if nothing else, this campaign will be remembered as the longest campaign in Australian political history. But many people, when I speak to them, tell me that they've tuned out. They use words like boring, uninspiring, relentlessly negative to explain their frustration. And who can blame them? The series of debates have been a snooze fest. Announcements have been heavy on slogans, light on substance. It's true, there are some policy differences between the two old parties, but overall, there's been a lack of courage, a lack of imagination, and a lack of vision. We've seen that steady staple of scare campaigns that have become a feature of modern politics. First, we've had the coalition with their negative gearing scare campaign, preaching the end of the world as we know it, expecting us to believe that negative gearing doesn't disproportionately benefit people on high incomes. It just seems that facts don't matter anymore in politics. And in a bad version of Groundhog Day, they continue to ramp up their fear around the spectre of boatloads of asylum seekers swamping our shores under a Labor, Greens, Independent, anyone else but the coalition majority government. This despite the fact that both the old parties are on a unity ticket when it comes to cruelty towards innocent people seeking asylum. For Labor's part, it's brought us the scare campaign on the privatisation of Medicare. And I get it, I get the theory. You've got Medicare, very, very popular. People loathe privatisation. You put them together, you've got a potent cocktail. But is this really the best that Labor can do? The truth is scary.